Hello, hello! Terhi here, just as I promised a couple of weeks ago that I will be back here with March Hip Kicks, and here I am. Today I'm playing around with our April mood board, which has lots of springy feelings, I think. Some cream, some yellow, things like that. And I just wanted to scrapbook this photograph of me lying in I have no idea how to say that in English, but anyway having a little nap in our garden, so I think that's uh, that's just something that came up to my mind when I saw the mood board that I had I really had to get scrapped this lovely photograph. It was taken a like couple years ago and uh, my husband took the photograph with his phone and the quality of the photograph is kind of bad so I have been waiting to to get it scrapped big but it's quite green and it needs to be scrapped with lots of colors to make sure it's not too <laughs> jumping out of the of the layout or something like that. As you see there's lots of green and I even tried to change that to black and white but it still looked bad as <laughs> my skin is so light. Come on I live in Finland there's always dark in here so I'm super light of my skin. So anyway the black and white wasn't an option so that's why um, it's green and me. Yeah, but I wanted to start with the Maggie Holmes uh, florist paper, the one with the uh, rectangular things. <laughs> and I got them out and decided to add another layer behind them. Uh, this layout has lots and lots of layers. I actually calculated um, here on my table that there is 13 paper layers in one point. Come on, 13 layers. It's like really much, but I don't care. I love layers and that's my thing. And if I love layers, I can do layers. Because <laughs> really, I, I don't have any, any uh, rules for scrapbooking. So if I want to do some layers, I will do. So for the photograph I added the same pink paper and same cream paper and I want, wanted to frame that with dark brown too, just to make um, really a frame look. So here's the design I'm thinking of, but now that I'm looking all the embellishments I can see that these stickers will go so perfectly together, of course, because they are from the same collection. but. I want to have something more for, for the background too, but I'm not yet sure what. But uh, these stickers from Mackie Holmes are really thin stickers, like regular stickers. And I really love them, these butterflies and the flowers and everything, but I want to add some 3D foam behind them to make sure they are... Um, they have the dimension I'm always looking for. Um, there's also this paper, this lemon paper from uh, Maggie Holmes and I want to fussy cut it some leaves from from there and here's the yellow I was looking for too. There's also little pieces of uh, Dear Lizzie uh, stay colorful line I think that was it but anyway those uh, small pieces of paper on my work table are from that and also included to March hip kits. Um, but I don't want too much of yellow because yellow is really dominating color even though it's so bright and shiny but it's also really dominating color so I don't want to use that too much. So I will fuzzy cut some of them and also some of the butterflies but here's the layering part. Even though I have already those rectangles, but I want to add some layers on them. So I use these little scraps from my work table and I will put them here. Then some leaves and a flower, 
with the 3D foam of course and then some butterfly. These butterflies are so adorable. The, uh, the paper is from Bebels and it's from Patio Party collection which I adore. I'm in Bebels design team and I love that collection. It's so cheerful and bright and beautiful and pretty everything. But anyway, but there is one exception of this layout comparing it to my others I have done lately. I didn't use any 3D foam to adhere the butterflies. And that's because I used the 3D foam like everywhere else. So I didn't want to add it a little more anymore. Anyway, uh, I'm using just about same amount of paper to each three uh, paper. Um, what's the word? Paper collages <laughs> I'm doing um, but in different order I want to have them like a bit different and yeah but something being something green and a little of yellow I will not add the yellow on top again because it's too dominating that way but if it's peeking out behind the other it will be just fine and also those cute little blooms, yellow blooms are pretty just like that. But here's the design I have in mind. But at this point I thought I really need to have something on the background. And we had the Wiki Booting watercolors in the March hip kits. But I thought oh, I want something else. I want more paper there. And I came up with the idea of adding more paper, but <laughs> I just didn't know how to. Because if I would add like a large piece of paper now, well, that would be okay. But it kind of takes away the layering idea I have already going on a lot. But let's see. Uh, at this point I wanted to add the title, which is really fun for this garden layout plant kindness and grow love well that's what i'm doing always yeah but um as the design is ready i draw little marks where i'm adding all the layers as you see these are not attached yet to the background but i draw a little lines here and there just to make sure that i know i also there was the book I was listening, Fifty Sage of Grey, yeah. Anyway, I took a photograph um, of the, the design I was thinking so that I can see that <laughs> if I don't remember where to put everything. That happens a lot, but taking a photo is really easy tip and trick to do and it helps at least, at least me a lot. And of course I will uh, delete the photographs afterwards so that my phone is not full of um, helping pictures. Yeah, But as you see, I'm making little squares with my punch and I'm setting them to the background. I'm not sure how to set them, are they good this way or in another way? Because um, the design I was thinking about is already kind of, um, if not strict, it's, well, it's, it's, I'm, I'm not happy with this idea I'm doing here. So even though I'm adding some more, I also, I'm, I was like really sure at this point that I, I will not leave it like this. So I gave it a little thinking and setting and then I decided that okay I will add some 3D foam behind each and every one and then I will add them straight. But in a way that they are not in the straight line but here and there just some squares but that they are horizontally straight and vertically straight. And of course I'm adding the 3D foam behind these just because I want to have a little dimension again. And I think because I'm going to splash some mists on top, it will look much better because the mist 
drops are falling down from the edge of the papers that it will look just cool really cool um, and I'm not calculating that where I'm going to add the pink and where the brown I just want to add them somehow of course avoiding adding too much pink because I want the background to be more like dark um, instead of really really pink and I think this idea is quite cool even though I said it myself yeah but here we go um, I really like doing little small um, pieces of paper to the background I've done several layouts uh, with the same idea lately but they are all different still but now I'm adding first some white mist just to uh, kind of highlighting the brown pieces and of course this is really 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 white ink so it will be visible from the background too then as I have a lot of green on my pattern papers and in the photograph I want to add, add some green this is mint green from Hadeswap and I want to add that to my layout and then I want to add something pink this pink mist is from Shimmers and it was in one of the previous hip kits um, I also thought about adding the watercolors from the color kit but uh, this was so much quicker than mixing the watercolors and, and I also wanted to have the shimmering look of the mists because that's not available in watercolors at least in, not in those watercolors I have now I'm looking for the marks I draw with my pencil and somehow I even see them so I can find the spots the right spots for all the things I want to add on my layout. Uh, this would be so nice, just like this, <laughs> but, but I wanted to add something more. And now first some thread, lots of thread, because that's my thing. And then I'm going to add these paper layers. Really thin the 3D foam underneath it, and then some glue, and then the the paper cluster. It was cluster, not collage. It was cluster. Sorry about this. Sometimes I don't find the right words and it's so much easier to talk, not to video, but live because I can use my hands and then everyone knows what I'm talking about. Or at least I think so, but that's probably not even true. But anyway, I'm trying to find the right words and I hope you understand me. Yeah. So, now the little lemon tree flourishes, leaves at least, and gluing down the photograph too. Um, there's like empty area behind the photograph, so I wanted to make sure that all the edges of the photograph are on top of the paper clusters so that it it will not drop to the empty area and now I'm just adding the leaves again and the bloom again not sure how to do, how to um, adhere it is it good this way or that way but I'm happy with that and then the little hmm, cloth pin was it that Anyway, the lovely embellishment from Bebel's Patia Party collection again, and I really adore these. I would actually use them uh, other than embellishment too, if I would need. And then gluing down more embellishment, some labels and tags and stuff like that. And here we are, almost finished. But at this point I decided that uh, those brown squares on the background, they need something more. Just a little something, a little more color. So these small, really small stickers from Maggie Holmes, the same one where I got the flowers. These are really cool and I like that they're not saying anything, but there's a little text and numbers 
so I really like them. So I added them and then I also thought that there's just below the photograph, the left side of the photograph is a little empty, that I, I really want to have something there. Well, first I'm adding little pieces of these uh, yellow stickers. <laughs> Come on, I'm, uh, I, I, I wanted to cut this to three part because the yellow was so cool and I wanted to have it three times here because here's a tricky spot where two pieces of similar pattern of paper are together so the stickers will separate them. But um, still I wanted to add something here First I added some mist drops, the green, the pink, and still, that's, that's too empty. That's, that's something. It needs something. So I decided to use the tickers we had in March Hip Kids, and as I'm not writing any words, I took the cheese because they are the most tricky looking uh, alphas, and I'm using them as a... Uh, embellishments. Just adding them, peeking behind some papers, it's it's the perfect match, I think. It, it just gives the um, right finishing touch for the layout. The U is a bit too large by itself, so I cut it in half and now it's good. I really like these stickers because they are shiny and coppered almost cold that they are really really cool so that's it then I'm or now I'm really happy about this layout there's something and I wanted to add something more so one leaf more <laughs> and with lots of 3d foam underneath it I added it a bit uh, partly on top of the G layer here. Ta -ta -da. Here we go. Anyway, it was so much fun to do all these layers. And if you want to see all the all the detail shots, I will add them here. Just wait a second and you will see them. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you are inspired. I really hope. Anyway, thank you for your time and your interest and everything we will see again soon, maybe in a week or two, maybe sooner, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and have a happy happy day. Bye!